Hey, what's up, Bears fans? We've got some great news. The Chicago Bears returned to practice on Tuesday as they began preparations for the preseason game against the Cincinnati Bengals on Saturday. Guess who was back practicing? That's guard Nate Davis. And this is really, really good. This roster starting to get healthy. And this trend, it's leaning toward the Bears starters not playing on Saturday, given that the two teams will have a joint practice all week um, at Hallis Hall. But man, this is super encouraging. And I'm going to go to the story on beargoggleson.com. It's, it's just a fun source. It's really, really good. So when the Bears return to practice, on Tuesday and leading up to now, um, more new uh, injury news. Um, we've got some guys that returned. Um, we're talking about Montez Sweat back, Kyler Gordon back, Nate Davis back, and Davis's return. It's not an understated happening. And Coach Matt Eberflus, he just suggested the veteran right guard was week to week after he suffered a, another setback last week. He kind of used some strong words over the last couple of weeks talking about the most important ability is availability, kind of reading the riot act. And there's been a lot of talk in the meantime, right? There's just a profile on the athletic, I believe, kind of talking through if the Bears could have avoided getting Nate Davis on the roster because there were a lot of um, rumblings at the time that the Bears grabbed him that uh, head coach Mike Vrabel at the time absolutely hated this guy. He had a lot of talk coming out of his coaching staff saying that Nate Davis does not like to play injured that he was essentially soft, that he would just take games off if he had a little ding. So you can take that for what you will, but I'm just going to celebrate that he's healthy. I'm going to celebrate that this offensive line is starting to become an intact offensive line and what that means for the future, this future season, especially um, with protection of Caleb Williams. Because if Nate Davis is healthy and he's willing to play, <laughs> this is just a game changer for this offensive line. And we're also getting some good news on our draft pick, Amagaje. He's almost ready to go. So let's kind of talk a little bit. Um, we've got some players that have missed time recently that are stretch that stretch for practice and actually got on the field. And we're talking about Nate Davis, sweat Gordon and um, man, Nate Davis at right guard with the starters, with this full team. We're talking, this is so much better. And looking back to coach Flus, he offered an ultimatum towards Davis after the veteran offensive lineman had been in and out of the lineup, most mostly out Eberflus conceded that lack of availability could be a reason that a player loses their starting job. I mean, there is even talk that he was going to get cut. So this is huge him coming back. So we're looking at with Davis back, this offensive line is going to be fully functional and Davis I'm one of them super frustrated with him as a fan base um super like critical of him not being able to play but as we get to really meaningful football with the season start let's starting let's be let's be like happy about this and let's realize that he's a super capable lineman um especially in run protection and his pass protection that can be improved a little bit, but if he can start next to Darnell Wright, that allows for Ryan Bates to serve as the team's starting center, possibly, or be able to freely provide depth across the across the board. And um, I'm not sure if this center competition with Shelton is completely settled yet. And um, in addition to Davis, there's been progress on Karan Amagaje's status. And um, it looks like the rookie offensive tackle is going to be ramping up this week with the expectation of potentially returning to practice as soon as next week. So we're talking about this here. We we're talking about his rookie season with the Bears being considered kind of a redshirt year, even though we selected him in the third round in this last draft. But if he can return to practice before the start of the regular season, that's likely going to be enough to keep him on the 53-man roster without a need for using an IR designation. And that is just fantastic news. And this is directly from the injury report. It says offensive lineman 
Kiran Amagaji is ramping up and may begin to practice soon. The rookie third round pick has yet to practice with the team during training camp. So like that's like the official word straight from the injury report. But um, man, this is just looking really good. And if we look at yesterday, it shows that this Chicago Bears team is really close to being a complete team. And this is really good. Um, since August 4th, it's been a little spotty. We've been times without Tyreek Stevenson, time without Gordon, even time without Montez Sweat practicing, Nate Davis as well. But all of those players participated in full on Wednesday as well. And that was ahead of today's joint practice with the Bengals. Just such a welcome sight. And it's just it's so clear how much of a difference there is going to be what was seen in that practice um, being on the field instead of being um, sidelined. And I want to talk about something about this staff too. This kind of falls in line with the attitude that this Chicago Bears coaching staff has had. They haven't really voiced a lot of concern whatsoever about the injuries. There have been a lot of them in training camp. And besides the kind of lighting a fire under his butt talk about Nate Davis, they've been pretty calm and collected as well. And also the Bears haven't made any rash trades or signings. I mean, they are pro they were proven to be in on the Matt Judon sweepstakes that recently went to Atlanta, but maybe that's just them doing due diligence. But I'll try to kind of focus here. I'm going to kind of close with looking at this practice a little bit. Uh, the starting defense took the practice field. Sweat was back, and he had a pass rush rep when he chased Caleb Williams out of bounds. He didn't allow the quarterback to scramble for a handful of yards, and it's just, you guys have watched Hard Knocks. It's just really cool that this offense is just developing primarily by facing this top-tier defense every single day in practice. We're looking at Spider-Man was back. <laughs> During the 11-on-11, 11 11, Williams got a free play when his hard count got the defensive line to jump. He had a pass over the middle to Gerald Everett, and it felt incomplete after Gordon ripped it away, ripped it right out of his hands. Stevenson was back. He batted a Williams pass away from DJ Moore um, as he tried to float it over Stevenson's head. It is just so much fun to watch this. And um, we're, we're looking at some negatives. Safety, Brisker, he didn't participate on Wednesday. Uh, Bates, Colin Johnson, Theo Benedet, <laughs> the Eagle has landed right. Carter, Adrian Colbert, Paul Mayola, Jacob Martin, a lot of guys did not participate in Wednesday's practice, but I don't think that's going to be prescriptive for what's going to happen during the, during the uh, regular season. So what are we looking at here? If we have an intact offensive line, if this depth that we have continues to stay as depth, we're looking at, we're looking at a completely different story. If we're looking at um, Braxton Jones being there at left tackle, um, we're looking at, at our, our right tackle being solid. If Nate Davis is there, right guard is taken care of. I mean, this could be a really, really good offensive line if they have a little bit of time to actually be on the field together and develop. And um, there are reports as much as a month ago as the Bears being a top 10 offensive line. But man, it just all has to do with health and this seeing Nate Davis on the practice field and ready to go. I'm going to choose to lay my pessimism to the side, continue to be positive and um, really celebrate this. This is a huge development. You guys let me know what you think. Bear down. This has been a great off season and man, just a couple of really good developments and I'll talk to you soon.